seeing voice boxes bleed with patriarchal conceptions. This body becomes a curse, and without love, the body becomes tired. I'm tired for all the women, I'm tired for all the girls I've lost inside my body, trying to devote to men. And now I feel like crashing this schemes that think my body is a vehicle for war, that think my body is a mere object, that think my body is their entitlement. But where did the women go? Where did the girls go? In this emulated violence, generations of shaking, tumblings of bodies. I wanted my demons to expel, so I stayed for the rebirth of my own body, giving birth to myself from the fire of my body. Today I gave birth to a woman that owns herself, a woman that is not captive in shackles of society by rewriting the scriptures of her mother's past and her mother's past, breaking the cycle of the instead of the unspoken trauma. I gave birth to myself, freeing myself from the trapped demons inside my veins. My blood now flows freely, and today this body is free. I quit trying to find a Masiha, I quit trying to find someone to love this body. I left my body with the biggest playwright, I left my body in the theatre house of God, and I'm blocked like my gateway between my legs, between the opening paradise of purgatory, sitting in hetero, heterophobia, I don't know if I said that right. Right inside my body, where there are worlds inside worlds, and the universe sits expanding between the opening of my yoni. And now my body is beginning to feel like home. My body is letting go of those colonized. My body is becoming free from battle battlefields. My my tongue is now free to talk. My body is beginning to feel like home. I am learning to learn and I made love to my body. I let go of the shadows inside me. I let myself become a blank canvas to be painted in colors of ec ecstasy. And my body doesn't feel tired anymore. My body doesn't hold aches and muscle trauma anymore. Finally, my body is the home it's always supposed to be.